Hey guys, I don't know honestly, everything's been such a whirlwind. Um, I don't know how much Courtney has vlogged over the last couple days. So I'm sure you guys are all aware. Um, I think we've at least updated the vlog enough that you guys know uh, a couple nights ago that they uh, had a stroke um, and brought her down to Maple Grove Hospital and then got transferred to Children's Hospital here. And um, originally they did a CT scan and it showed no strokes. We were excited about that, but they were very confused and concerned about her left arm because she lost complete motor control in her left arm. And uh, so we ended up doing an MRI the next day. And because a CT scan will show a stroke only if it's a hemorrhagic stroke or it's a bleeding stroke in the brain. In the brain. Whereas an is I'm not pronounce it right, ischemic stroke is where there's basically a, a, a period of time where there is no blood supply or oxygen to that side of the brain. And that doesn't show up on a CT uh, because it's not a bleeding type of stroke. I will. She said, tell them the good news. So we're getting there. Um, so we had the MRI the next day and that actually confirmed that she did have a stroke because that showed um, the other changes in the brain that are uh, consistent with the stroke. And so um, that was a horrific experience. Nevaeh got claustrophobic. We were in the, she was in the MRI chamber for like 45 minutes. She was crying, wanted to get out. I was crying, you know, Courtney and I tried to stay strong through this whole thing, but every time, you know, the first couple of days when Nevaeh was napping or we were behind closed doors, it was uh, lots of tears and uncertainty and really tears out of fear. Um, but now, lately, over the last day and a half, it's been more happy tears because uh, we're making progress. So after she had the, after they confirmed that it was a stroke, they moved her to the ICU, pediatric ICU here at Children's Hospital. And... Uh, because they needed to monitor like neurologically and her brain and everything. They had her hooked up to an EEG with electrodes all glued to her head and her hair. We're still trying to get the, the goopies out of her hair. Um, but for like every hour on the hour for probably 24 hours or more, maybe 30 hours, they had to do neurological exams every hour and um, obviously monitoring all of her blood glucose and everything during the time. But because when you suffer a stroke one to three days after the stroke occurs, it's a common occurrence or can be a common occurrence. There is uh, more bleeding and uh, more swelling in the brain, increased fluids, so that's your body's natural anatomical response. Like when you get a bruise on your leg, one to three days after, you get like swelling and bruising and it's painful. And so that's the same thing when you get a bruise on your brain, which essentially the stroke was. And uh, so they need to monitor that because if they did have swelling or bleeding in the brain that created too much pressure, it could do further damage and they would have to do emergency surgery where they'd have to like remove part of her skull to relieve the pressure, which we we're praying so hard against. And um, so that came back that there was no bleeding. Uh, we had a CT scan the following day after the MRI um, that showed no additional bleeding um, or pooling of fluids in or around the pockets of the brain. So they were super encouraged and the neurological team was super encouraged. And uh, so they basically were not 100% out of the woods yet, but I asked them after uh, they confirmed a positive CT scan that, hey, we're not out of the woods yet, but are we walking out of the woods? And they're like, hey, that's a good way to put it. So um, we're on our way out, we're progressing. She's had a lot of physical therapy appointments today and the physical therapists have good things to say. Last night, she actually, we were moving her around in her bed because she was uncomfortable and she out of nowhere, like her arm was like flexed and out of nowhere, she just like fired her tricep and locked it into like straight extension. I was like, whoa, where did this come from? She's like half asleep. So as after a stroke, like all of a sudden these nerve pathways start firing again and trying to, to figure out how to work. So that's why they're doing physical therapy. Um, 
the physical therapist said yesterday her arm was like a wet noodle and today Courtney was there when the physical therapist came and she said her arm was more al dente which is you know it's got more structure and firmness to it which was so good to hear and she said she could slightly feel her firing her tricep so we are praying and believing for a full recovery and the latest update Nevea, you want to tell them the latest update? She was scared. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean any of this. What's the latest update? That on Sunday I might be going home. So exciting. The, the home health lady came in and said, so I heard you might be able to go home on Sunday. What? She wants her squish ball. Um, so. She might be able to go home on Sunday, so we're praying and believing that she can go home on Sunday. And we're also praying and believing that she walks out of here uh, unassisted and with her left arm firing and working. So, long ways to go, but we're on a great trajectory. Um, Courtney had to run home this afternoon. She did. We both slept here last night, and neither one of us got very good sleep but I think she got less sleep than I did so she went home to take a shower freshen up and I told her to take a couple hour nap and then come back so um, we're getting there we have had an amazing and humbling amount of support um, social media is amazing and powerful in a situation like this uh, we've just had hundreds not, I shouldn't say hundreds, we've had thousands of people that have reached out to say that they're praying. We've had people come. Yeah, I'll show them the balloons. We've had people send gifts. Balloons. Uh, we've had gifts, we've had balloons sent, we've had meals sent, we've had coffee brought. Uh, we've had people donate money on Venmo, which is unbelievable. I mean, never even asked for that but people just like hey here's here's some money for coffee or for meals or for gas driving forth from the hospital or medical bills or some toys or gifts for Nadea so it's been completely overwhelming humbling and uh, it's crazy the friends and family and, and followers that we have is so appreciated and so powerful in a moment like this so Anyway, that's about what I got. I know Courtney's probably gonna have to edit this down because I think I'm, I can't tell how many minutes I've recorded. Oh, this is almost eight minutes, so anyway. But we wanted to update you guys. We didn't really do any updating the first couple days because it was really touch and go and very emotional time for us. So um, we're feeling really good and optimistic about the near future. Oh my God, she's so happy. We got some slime, didn't we? She was so freaking happy. So, um, oh, is this turning more purple? I thought we were, we tried to do pink and I thought this was pink, but it might be purple. Is it? It's a little purple. It is a little purple. So she's mixing up some slime. Ethan is doing the- Borax. The borax. She's so happy for slime. And she's got this cool ball too. It's really cool. It's really cool. It has glitter in it and like little balls. Do you think they have any glitter that I can put in here or any foam ball? I bet they do. We could ask. Yeah. Um, so we got some super good news. Should we tell them we got super good news? We got super good news that Nevea, um, there we go, it's recording. Um, that Nevea is, oh, I can see you through the thing. <laughs> How are you guys doing in here? Good. Good. We're curious. Was that Nevea had a CT scan today, and there is no swelling, no more swelling, and um, now we're healing. So that's really good news. Really good news. They were wor worried about her brain swelling after yeah. a stroke. And we're getting some stuff because somebody sent us a hundred dollars, and I got some clothes squishies. A humongous squishmallow. Yeah, we got some stuff. So a lot of people on Instagram. And it's a five, uh, five surprise unicorn thing. Yep. Right, and there's it comes with a unicorn like little Play-Doh or slime. Yep. And last time I got one with my grandma, it, it came with some purple slime and it smelled like grapes. Yep, it did. It smelled delicious. She said. 
So we're going to actually get that tonight. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, thank you everybody on Instagram and Facebook and everything for reaching out and praying. We're get, feeling all the prayers and it's working, huh? Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to make some slime and get some coffee. And then we're going to wash her hair because she's coffee, got... Coffee not for me, though. No, not for Nevaeh. You don't want any? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Um, hopefully we'll get the goop out of the hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It stinks. Can you tell everybody how bad it stinks? It stinks. And we're also getting chapstick so I can smell the chapstick, too. Yep, because when she was getting those things on her head the, that monitored her, her brain... It stunk so bad. And, mom, and mommy had chapstick that smelled like birthday cake, but it's actually cocoa butter. Yeah, I was putting it by her nose and by her lips so she didn't have to smell that really stinky sink. Yeah, so she kept going, smelling like that, mm -hmm. which was good. So that's what we're doing right now. That's our little update. We'll update later. Yeah.